Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so we are having Thai takeout tonight. So I got some wonton soup. It's pork and shrimp wontons in there. I know you can't see it. And that is cabbage on top. And then I also got some herb fried chicken. And I think these are um, Thai basil leaves, lemongrass, and all sorts of good stuff in there. These are dipping sauces that come with it. Um, Howard got curry chicken and he's going to pour it over his steamed rice. And then I got fried rice. And then um, with this restaurant, you get free egg rolls if you order online and I think spend 20 bucks. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our pantry and freezer. In our freezer, I had this Trader Joe's oven ready um, breaded cod fillets and I made these in the air fryer and Howard and I just tried them. We both thought they were okay. Um, I probably would not buy them again. I don't care for the breading um, as much as the, I think we had Gordon's the other week, Parmesan crusted and those fillets were really good. I'm not a big fan of these, um, but we're having those and we're also having a side of Nor cheesy bacon macaroni, which is actually pretty good. My first time trying that and here it is on the plate. And then I had some fresh broccolini in my fridge that I needed to use. So I just stir fried it in a little bit of olive oil. And then the seasoning that I used is this. I told you guys I have a lot of different seasonings that I need to use up. And so um, I use this and it's ta pretty tasty. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pork riblets, which uh, are new for us. I bought these a while back ago and put them in my freezer. Riblets are basically a portion of the spare rib that they cut off in order to make it more visually pleasing. So you can't tell, but there's actually, this part is actually bone. So Howard just grilled it. So let me show you um, what we have. So this is Howard's plate. And for his riblets, I used this A1 dry rub, and then he used this barbecue sauce. And with it, I just um, made some canned corn with butter, salt, and a little bit of pepper. I cooked a potato in the air fryer. This potato was like a pound, a little over a pound. So I just made one potato in the air fryer, cooked it at 400. Um, I cleaned the skin and I put some oil and salt on there and then I flipped it over halfway through. I cooked it for about an hour if I didn't mention that. And um, turns out perfectly every time. So Howard just had some butter on his potato. You can't see it because it already melted. And then he also put some sour cream. And then I made loaded deviled eggs and that video will be out on Thursday. This is my plate. Of course, I have the same thing. I added pepper to my potato as well. And then for my riblets, I decided to try out this citrusy garlic seasoning blend that I picked up from Trader Joe's a while, a while back ago. Howard doesn't like, you know, citrus stuff. So I was excited to try these out on the ribs. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe tonight, sausage orzo skillet, and I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. It calls for a pound of uh, ground pork sausage. I didn't have any of what I call breakfast sausage, so I just used Italian sausage, and I am adding in two cups of chicken broth. And actually I'm using um, bouillon cubes and broth, so I'm adding that in. And then I'm adding in one can of stewed tomatoes. And then I'm gonna give this a stir and let it come to a boil. And then I am just going to add in some orzo, which I've already got measured and ready to go. I first tried uh, cooking with orzo, I guess maybe a couple of weeks ago. And that recipe was really, really good. It's a, it was a spinach um, orzo 
skillet dish. So I'll make sure to link that video in the description box so you guys can check it out. But let me let this come to a boil and then I'm just going to um, add in the orzo and then cover and simmer. So I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the dish and Howard and I both tried it and we think it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty, it was really easy to make. I will say that the directions um, say to add in the can of stewed tomatoes, juice and all. And I guess depending on what brand you get, depends on how much juice there is. So I did have to add a, end up adding more orzo. Um, probably like another quarter of a cup, third of a cup, not sure in order to um, absorb some of that liquid. But it is good, I would definitely make it again, quick and easy to make. And with it, I'm serving some leftover broccoli rabe and a breadstick. And these are the breadsticks that I like, and they are from Tom Thumb, just their store brand of breadsticks. They used to be really cheap, now they're getting pretty high, getting pretty pricey. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so today I tried out a new easy recipe for tomato tortellini soup. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. But all it called for was half and half chicken broth, um, condensed tomato soup, and tortellini. And this is a tortellini that I used from um, Aldi. And I had it in my freezer, so I used that. And then with it, I made some breadsticks, the same breadsticks we had the other day. And then in my freezer, I had this pecan pie, and I decided, hey, why not make it? Um, and it is an Edwards pecan pie. So this is what we are having for dinner and dessert tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.